Ever since we got smartphones, we've been constantly bombarded with information. The Apple Watch tries to address that problem by giving you information much more quickly and more efficiently. I wanted to see if this watch could free me from my phone. Remind me to pick up my kids at five o'clock. Every new Apple product usually has some kind of amazing user interface. Creating a reminder. And this one has an interesting user interface and it's sometimes a little bit complicated. I think one of the most interesting things is how it notifies you. It makes sounds, but a better feature is like a little teeny hammer. Um, it taps your wrist in different patterns. A text message has a different tap pattern than when the phone is ringing. And the idea is that over time you'll figure out how it's tapping you. This tap language is a very cool futuristic idea of your brain being able to process digital information without you being fully conscious about it. It's kind of merging digital technology with your body um, in a way that we really haven't seen before. I think the biggest challenge in the user interface is figuring out where you are in the watch. Sometimes you wanna do something that works in one screen, but you're in the wrong screen, and so then you end up having to take three or four different steps. It makes text messages less intrusive because they have some uh, customized canned responses, and you can um, use Siri to dictate a message. Hey, I'm on the way. And it's very quick, so I've, I've, I've found that that is a very useful feature. One of the things I was really looking forward to doing on the watch is email, but the functionality is pretty limited. You can only archive or organize the messages and you can't respond to them. You can't even send kind of canned responses. So today, I think the watch is probably best for people who are just like me, people who are addicted to their phones and need some relief from that addiction. I'm not sure yet if it's great for people who use their phone less often, but I think we're moving toward that world. As paradoxical as it sounds, adding more technology to our bodies might free us from the smartphone, which already kind of rules our world. Oh, okay.